December 17th, 2019. It's been about a week since I've been um, through a severe depressive episode. Um, whenever I have problems with depression and anxiety, I put on a happy face, fake it till you make it. Um, I still managed to go to work, do the best of my job. Um, I would say I even excelled at my job, and um, Friday night, I got blindsided and got terminated um, via email. Um, the management that I basically put on a pedestal and respected threw me out like trash. Um, I feel like my whole life, I've always tried to prove myself prove my worth. Um, when I started working about 20 years ago or so, um, I feel like that's all I've done is work my butt off and try to prove myself, try to prove my worth to my companies, whether it's been entertainment through the theme parks uh, in Florida, whether it's been uh, working at a themed hotel with entertainment whether it's been dog training, um, working in retail, working a doggy daycare. Um, the only time I feel like I didn't have to truly prove myself except for the fact that it was a legitimate job is when I had my own pet sitting business for almost four years and tripled my clientele. Um, I've always had a really good relationship with customers and treated their pets like extended family. and. Um, I think with any job I've ever had, I've cared too much, and I think that's part of the problem. I watched an episode of Nurse Jackie a while back, and I remember she was in therapy, and they were like, well, who are you? And she's like, well, I'm a nurse. And they're like, no, who are you? I think as a society, many many of the times or most of the time we define ourselves based on you know our relationships you know our jobs you know our careers um we don't put enough value on ourselves as people um whether we're really good friends whether we bend over backwards for you know our families whether we do community service um you know, whether we're, we're just kind-hearted people and, you know, I have so much I want to say and I'm in such a numb place that I can't express it into words exactly what I want to say. But anyway, anytime I go through anything, whether it's mental health, whether it's trauma, um, I always try to reach out to other people that are going through the same thing so they know they're not alone and try to take the bad experience and turn it into a positive one, if not for myself, for other people. Because I think one of my good traits is I always want to teach people, I want to help people. Even if it means I can't help myself, but maybe in the process I am helping myself. So, I'm about a week and a half into the severe depressive episode. Um, I want to try to blog every day, if not a couple of times a day, if not even every few days. Um, taking this one day at a time and trying to at least do two little things a day, whether it's take out trash, do laundry, um, practice, you know, some self-care. Um, I like to dye my hair practice self-care um, so that's what I'm doing right now um, I plan on doing a program where basically it's like going to a job for a couple of weeks where I go to extensive therapy for anxiety and depression and we go over um, mindfulness techniques um, you know, self-care, ways to, you know, coping mechanisms, things like that. I'm really hoping that that brings me back to the person that I was. 
or at least close to the point where I can work again. Um, so hopefully in 2020, um, there'll be new beginnings. Hopefully you get to move out to California. Um, change of environment. But we'll see. Um, in the meantime, I want to see, um, I guess what I'm getting out of this is not only to show other people they're not alone in this, but um, and, and the fact that people do get laid off and fired right before the holidays because people are dicks. Um, but I want to see how I grow through these videos and stuff. So, this is video number one. Um, let's see how it goes.